Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to tie a, it's a goat's toe variant, um, it's a Wilkinson's goat's toe. So I'm going to use a fill and mill hook and it's competition heavyweight and black nickel, size 10. Nice strong hook and I like the black nickel finish. So I'm just going to start the thread at the eye and wind it halfway down and trim away your waist. And then continue down to between the point and the barb. The tail on this, um, on the original, I think it was like an orangey red colour. Uh, on this one, it's going to be uh, glow bright and it's multi yarn fluorescent. It's number one, it's like a magenta fluorescent pink. So I'm going to cut a strand of it and double it over and tie that in at the back. Couple of turns on, make sure it's sitting okay, and then continue up towards the end of the hook, winding it down as you go, keeping it nice and give you a nice smooth body for your tinsel. The original body in this was peacock hair, um, but I'm going to use silver. I'm going to use silver holographic um, with a black rib. So next thing is a black wire rib and catch it in underneath the hook and take it right up against the tail and then catch in your length of holographic silver tinsel and continue down to the eye stopping two or three mil short wind your holographic tinsel overlap and turns Keep it nice and neat and when you get to this point here, a couple of mil from the eye, tie off your, tie off your holographic tinsel, trim your waist piece away. The body hackle on this I'm going to palmer it, that's going to be a silver doctor blue and it's a Chinese cock neck. So pull a feather away. Uh, fibers slightly more than the hook gate and tie it in nice and securely. Once it's secure, trim away the waist piece and take your hackle pliers, pull the feather over the tip, and take a full turn at the head, and then continue, continue down the body and even open turns, probably four turns in total, including the one at the head, so that's three. And that's four. And then bring up your black wire rib in nice even turns. This is securing the, the palmered hackle down, but it gives a nice contrast with the against the silver and the blue. So it's more for strength, but it actually helps the look of the fly too. Once you get three or four turns in, bend the wire. Or wiggle it until it breaks. See if blunt and scissors, and then you can turn your vice over to get at the waist tackle tip and trim it away. Just check to make sure everything's sitting nicely. Any fibers, pull them back. Um, and the head of this, the head hackle on this fly is going to be a peacock blue feather. So basically. That's it there. There's a lovely iridescent bluey green tint off it. So you don't get much on this feather, so you're only gonna get a turn or two. I tie it in with the tip a few strands and then double that back and just leave the leave that tip part in for strength. And it also helps to bulk up the the fly and then wind your turns over. Uh, these can play up a bit but just persevere with it. Try and double your fibres back. Focus this camera on again. Uh, just double your fibres back and then wind your hackle. If it plays about, just try and work with it. And once you've used up all the feather, come across your waist end 
and if you want you have an offer of you can actually double it by come just over the over the base of the hackle that you've wound so you can also trim that way at this point because it's secure and I'm going to go ahead and whip finish straight away three or four turn whip finish and then the head in this is going to be finished with the glow bright floss in uh, red scarlet um, can't remember the shade I think it's a maybe a number three so we're just going to start the floss at the eye and build up a nice we profile of a head. Once you're happy, trim away your waist end and then you can spin the floss anti clockwise, dip it up, and we're just gonna do a three or four turn whip finish here whilst finishing the shape of the head. So that's it there. Just tighten up your floss and trim away your waist piece. Um, all that's left to do is a spot of uh, UV resin. Uh, or a couple of coats of varnish and that's the finished fly it's my variant of a Wilkins or a goat's toe and it's the Wilkinson's variant so probably be good for grilts and sea trout so thanks very much for watching